Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nabball Mastery. My name's Root Negative and today we're going to do a direct ascent to rendezvous using the Nabball for information. It's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. I've got Bill here, he's on the way to save salvation. He's been stuck here on the ground in the Mimbus Lander for quite a while, so I'm killing two birds with one stone here. So I'll just get him into the craft so that we can then start uh, thinking about getting him back to orbit because if he's in orbit I can recover him from there. So on board, I'm going to retract that ladder. Now, we're there, we want to come here. So then we're going to set that as our target. Now remember, we're going to need to do a gravity turn. That uh, goes without saying. And 194 meters per second. Oh dear. So we have a bit of an issue. We are very, very low on fuel. Now, that might not be enough to get us back to orbit. Luckily, I've got some really good delta V in the RCS. And you'll notice that the RCS is actually strong enough to lift us off the ground. Okay, now what I just did was I put myself in an orientation that makes sense to my brain. So north is up, which means that when I launch, I'm going to go to the right. I reckon. Maybe. So what I need to do though is I need to wait for the station to get in the right spot. Because what I want is for my target vector, okay, you see this one? I want that to end up in the right spot so that as part of my orbit, it, uh, I'm boosting basically in the right direction. So it's coming around. I need to be in target mode now. And what I want to do is I want to wait for that to pretty much drift off to the side of the screen. And that's when I'm going to launch. You can see that we're moving quite quickly. And I found that at about 45 in that kind of vicinity before it disappears, is exactly where you need it to be and what we're going to do is we're going to use the exact same approach that we used for rendezvous and for the targeted landings we are going to push we're going to push our orbit over the target orbit now we are not going to make it to orbit on this stage we are going to have to use some rcs which isn't ideal, but we are going to rescue Bob whether it comes hell or high water. So I think that's probably about right. So we're going to lift off. I reckon it's the right. Actually, hold on. I think it's the left. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm going to the left, because that's where the retrograde target marker is so the what's going to happen is we're going to end up with these close approach markers now you see how they are moving they're getting closer and closer together now basically what we want to do is we want to push the our retrograde marker over the target so you can see that there's quite a big difference now in inclination so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to push this this way because that's going to get me that close approach. See how it's continuing to decrease? And this, this is going to be good. I have a good feeling about this one. Now, around Mimus, the effects are remarkable. I'm just going to keep pushing this, keep closing that separation. 62 meters per second. Every ounce that we can squeeze out of this stage is a good thing. Okay, we'll keep pushing that out. See how I'm trying to get my retrograde marker over the anti-target marker. And notice that I'm in target mode. Uh oh, I'm drifting away a little bit. Okay. And that's the fuel. Oh, I've got two minutes per second. 
There we go. So, that is that. Now, I am 4.5 kilometers, which is actually quite close for Minimus. So, I am going to work it with RCS from there. So, I do have enough uh, thrust on the RCS to make this encounter. Now, there's obviously a lot of... This is all over the shop, you know. There's, there's a lot of things going on here. So, we're just going to warp. Wait until it gets a little bit closer. Ah, there she is. And then we're going to sort out the rendezvous. Now, right now, I'm moving into the rendezvous phase that I would do around Kerbin. It's exactly the same. So, what I need to do is we are about to hit the apoapsis in a minute or so. And then once we do, we're going to work on this by moving that retrograde marker around. Okay, so there we go. Now what I want to do is same thing as always. Now I'll show you something, okay? In Minmus orbit, if I put on RCS and I translate sideways, I can actually move that retrograde marker. Do you see that? Okay, remember we're only affecting our orbit. So if it's strong enough and if the gravity is low enough, you can actually do that close approach with RCS. Okay, and that's, that's a pretty extreme example. But this is how it works with an apple. If you know which way you need to point things, you can go from a four kilometer encounter to a close approach. 400 meters is nothing. And I'm gonna further refine that as we get closer. So warp in a little bit. Uh, 2.2 and the physics will load. Well, it might have already loaded. But now, whoop, what I want to do is when I spin, turn off RCS when I'm stopped. Turn it back on again. So I'm just going to slow my speed up a little bit because 40 meters per second is quite quick. Now you see how I've just pushed it back over the anti-target marker. So those two are directly one over one another. That means that at some point my orbit is going to hit this thing if I'm close enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control my speed from here. I've got uh, 900 meters to go, so I'm going to leave it at about 25. I'm happy with that. When I hit, say, 600 meters, I'm going to drop that to about 15 meters per second. There it is. I'll drop it to 15 meters per second. When we get to, say... 200 meters away I'm going to then drop it again now you notice that my retrograde is starting to wander so I'm just going to use RCS to actually bump it back over because I can do that here in Minimus it's a little bit harder around Kerbin because the gravity is so much higher so when I get to 100 meters I'm going to go down to 5 meters per second slow it up because you want to do things gradually when you're on a close approach actually that's a little bit fast you notice that I've actually just hit an orbit. Okay, I'm just going to null out this here. And that is how you do a direct descent to rendezvous. Use the nav ball, you notice there was no maneuver nodes or anything. I was just reading this. It was, it was telling me its secrets. So right now I'm in a really nice orbit. I can uh, control from here. I can set as target oops I unset it as target set as target now what I can do is I could spin around here see if we can get this thing docked nope now because I need to go to the left of what I'm aiming at I put the yellow marker on the left notice that Okay, because I want to come to this side of it. I don't want to go that side because that side is stuff and I'll hit something. Okay. You notice how sensitive it is here? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on fine controls, which, oops, I'm going the wrong way. And fine controls is giving me a little bit more finesse over things. I want to keep translating around this port. 
I'm going to spin so that it makes some sort of sense to my brain. Okay. Let's look in the goods, actually. And what I'll actually do is I'll just boost f towards it a little bit. Well, not that quite that quick. I feel like we're getting close to the right uh, horizontal now. Yep, wrong way. Oop, no, no, wrong way. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, I feel like we're pretty close now. So I'm going to do is just spin again. And doing doing this on the stock game is quite hard. You know, it, it, there's not enough information here, as far as I'm concerned. It can be done, but it is quite difficult. So don't be afraid of failing. So I uh, I remember, oh shit, it was only a week or two ago. I spent about 20 minutes trying to get some stock craft to dock up. Without the, um, without my little docking alignment UI, and I struggled. So, but that's how you do it. That's how you do a direct ascent to rendezvous. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, which I think will be back in low urban orbit, doing the docking. Well, I'm going to show you the docking again, actually, and I'm going to devote an entire video to it. So I look forward to seeing you there.